Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be socializing a pit bull by the name of Basil with my own personal dogs. I myself own four pit bulls. I'm pretty fond of the breed. I do like to advocate for the pit bull dog. And Basil's here primarily for boarding. Her and her housemates are here for boarding. And uh, the owner was telling me that the dog's been having some trouble at home attacking her housemates and guest dogs uh, as well. And so of course, uh, I told her I'd take a look at it while the dogs are here for boarding. And so we're gonna be doing, uh, there's gonna be more videos of me socializing her, not just with my dogs, but her housemates as well. But before we get into the video, I should probably introduce myself. For those of you that are new to me, my name is Anthony Holcomb. I'm a certified dog trainer here in Tucson, Arizona. I'm the owner of Anthony's Canine Services, and I've been training dogs professionally for the last 13 years. And I've also been using my own personal dogs, to my own personal pit bulls, to socialize aggressive dogs uh, or, uh, for the last decade. For the last 13 years, actually. We've been doing that pretty much from, uh, from the beginning. Now... I am going to show you a couple of these videos to kind of show you this is legit aggression. She is attacking her housemates. And um, what we are kind of noticing here is that when she does do this, uh, it's usually in close proximity of the owner. So before I start kind of working and hanging out with her and her housemates, I just wanted to introduce her to my own personal dogs, get a different take on it, introduce her to some dogs that she's unfamiliar with, and see how she feels about them. Uh, so before we get into the video, definitely like and subscribe. Uh, we are excited to be bringing a lot of new uh, content onto YouTube and kind of uh, showcasing our work. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, you guys, we're out here with the pirate pack again. Little Mac, Peanut, Big Mac, and Oreo. And uh, we're gonna introduce Basil to them for the first time. Um, she is wearing a muzzle for safety. And uh, our only line of defense is the pet corrector. Just a little noise maker. Uh, if I think things are getting too tense in close quarters, that will be the way we redirect them. So let's let her out. We're not gonna do this with any leashes. Whoa, crash much? So pretty avoidant. Definitely treads fearfully. Nervous, nervous energy. My dogs are curious. Oh, you see how she tucks her butt a little bit? So unsure, definitely unsure. Big Mac, I'm gonna call him off. I don't want him to, I don't want him to pressure her too much. As you can see, she's laying in the turf, trying to rub the muzzle off. Uh, she came conditioned to the muzzle. Oh, unsure, unsure. I'm just gonna watch it closely. Relaxed eyes, so I like that much. No, but unsure about the dogs encroaching on her. Hey, so I don't, I don't want him, I don't want him to do that for too long. Like she's not sure and she's not comfortable. And that crowding that they're doing with her, even though they're just checking her out, that can be too much for her. And she could, she could lash out, right? If it becomes too much. So it's my job to give her the space that she needs to be comfortable. And so with my dogs, they've been doing this like with me for the last decade. So they kind of know like they to respond, you know, they'll respond to me verbally in that circumstance if I call them away from the other dog. That's their job. Their job is to help me. Uh, their job is not to correct other dogs. Their job is not to 
be a jerk. Their job, their job is to primarily give off. Um, oh, big man, come on, man! You have no respect for lawn maintenance, do you, buddy? My goodness. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, like my dogs just like this calmness, this relaxed kind of like vibe that they're giving off is all I'm asking for. It's all I need them. That's all I want them to do. I don't want them to overcrowd her. I want them to give her the space that she needs. So in any case, um, you can see she, she got like quite uncomfortable there for a second. And uh, I, I, you know, I, I, it's my job to help her out. And that's what I did there. So uh, she's conditioned to the muzzle. She is trying to rub it off here and there though. I'm not gonna do too much about that. The owner did most of the muzzle conditioning uh, already. So we don't care too, we're not gonna do too much about the muzzle. Um, the most important thing is that, you know, she doesn't get it off right now, so. And it's nice and secure, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But this is definitely a fearful type of dog. It's probably a little innate, which means she has a genetic predisposition right she was probably born this way and uh we don't want that getting the best of her look at she's loosening up a little bit tense calm there we go oh there we go let's play so that's the kind of vibe that's the kind of vibe we want mr peanut the old man Opening her up a little bit. Um, yep, there's little Mac giving her that playful vibe. Beautiful. Hey, there we go. Excellent. So you can see she wants to be playful, but I think, you know, sometimes the fear can overwhelm the dog. That's kind of what it looks like socializing, uh, using pit bulls to socialize uh, aggression. They gotta get off, give off the right vibe though. And uh, this is good for the cause, right? Not all pit bulls are dog aggressive, right Big Mac? Tell them, speak to the camera Big Mac. Tell them something. Tell the folks at home that it's not, it's not what we're meant to be. Or products of conditioning and environment. All right, I don't want to start a pit bull war here, but you guys catch the vibe? We're out here vibing, right, Basil? Right, baby girl? Oh, there's my baby. That's my baby. Come here, baby. That's a good girl. That a baby. That a girl. That's what I'm talking about. It's hard to get the camera and kind of see how she's feeling because I'm so close to her, but she kind of just came up to uh, came up to me <laughs> underneath me with, for a little petting, head low, uh, but not overly tense. So I, that's a good kind of like vibe and body language. Uh, and so, you know, I'm happy to touch the dog in that context. That's it. What's going on over here? Why are we all in this corner? What's happening? Weeds, are you guys chomping on the grass? All right, I might be a dog trainer, but I think I need a dog trainer to help me get these dogs not to chew on these weeds. <laughs> Yo, how dope is this? Look at that. The iPhone camera work right here. It's pretty dope, let's check it, let's check this out. Blurry Mac in the back. Let's pan up a little bit. In focus. Hey! Professional videographer. Right, Biggie? All right, you guys. Uh, I'm just talking randomly for no reason. We're going to cut it short. We're at about seven minutes. That's, look, that's what it looks like. Uh, introducing uh, Basil 
the fearful pity mix type dog to my four pit bulls the pirates are you a pirate you big old misfit are you a pirate hmm? <laughs> this dog is cool this dog is so cool little mac named him little mac because he's a great pit bull i already had a big mac so that was an easy easy choice to make for me um Gotta have a Little Mac and a Big Mac, right? Come on. You got the Whopper, you got the Whopper Junior. You gotta have a Big Mac and you gotta have a Little Mac. Right, Bubba? Right? <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, we're getting into rambling territory. So uh, this went really well. If you guys, uh, I think the biggest takeaway from this is the, the fact that you saw me call my dogs off of her when I felt she might've been a little bit too tense. It was too early in the uh, acclimation uh, period. It was too early in kind of like the, 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 the time with the other dogs. Uh, uh, too much attention in close quarters initially, right? But she loosened up, actually showed off a little bit of play behavior. And uh, my job is done. I don't have to do anything else after that, right? When it comes to socializing dogs, like I'm not gonna treat that stuff. I'm not gonna use food. I wanna kind of be as indifferent as, as possible. I want this stuff to happen as naturally as possible. And really, my job is, is think of you can think of me as the recess referee in an elementary school playground. I'm just there to make sure the, the kids don't hurt themselves. In this context, the dogs don't bite each other, right? And, uh, and that's really all my, everything else happens naturally. I just, I just wanted to have a really good positive experience around other dogs. That's what socialization training is. Putting a dog that's had some bad experiences with dogs around really good temperamented dogs and kind of giving them the most positive experience possible. So I think we're gonna cut it short uh, we hope you found this valuable and informational and uh, we'll let it go from there. Peace. All right, you guys, we hope you liked that video of Basil hanging out with my personal dogs. As you can tell, she's probably not downright dog aggressive. You can see she's a little timid. She is actually a little bit fearful. It is a personality trait of this particular dog. Um, chances are she's just a little bit possessive of the owner. So we'll have to talk to her about that. We do have more videos of Basil we'll be putting up of her hanging out with our housemates. So definitely like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can catch those videos coming in the future. Until the next time, we'll see you soon.